Hey YouTube, Camper Van Kevin here. Well, I am back camping, boondocking at the Desert Diamond Casino. And do I have a treat for you? What's the treat? Well, as I'm boondocking here at the, uh, the Desert Diamond Casino parking lot, they're very gracious here. They're very nice. They don't mind if boondockers stop by. They've got security. They've got trash. Great restaurant inside. If you want to gamble, you can do that too. But uh, while I was parked here, I noticed a, an RV style that I haven't seen before. And I thought you guys might enjoy seeing it as well. What is it? Well, it's kind of a homemade unit. I'll turn the camera around so you can see it better. Let's take a look at the outside of this homemade unit here. We have a Challenger truck camper, slide-in truck camper. Now we're going to get a little noise from the jets. Uh, right over here, the military and uh, airport, they, they share the same airport. So there's a lot of maneuvers and stuff going on, so it gets kind of loud around here. Morning, David. Man, I like your, I like your rig here. I, I know that you just bought it. Thanks for talking to us. Yeah. I know you just bought it and everything and uh, that you don't plan to use it for its original intentions, but tell me what you can about it. Well, um, the, guy who, uh, the guy who built it put a lot of, a lot of care into it and a lot, of, um, a lot of attention. He did a really good job. He wanted a really incredible price for it, pretty much less than the price of the trailer for us where we're taking it, which would be up in Alaska. So our idea is to take this off and put it in our truck so that we have somewhere to live while we build a home on the trailer, sort of around the kitchen that he already, that already exists. That's awesome. Yeah. So, so you're going to have to, you was going to have to buy a trailer anyway for your tiny house right. and you found the perfect trailer is just it had this on it. Which is awesome because we got a long way to go. So we got somewhere to hang out while we're driving there. So <laughs> yeah, pretty yeah. much. It was a, pretty awesome deals uh not to mention when we, when we saw it too i mean it's um well mostly my uh fiance here when she saw it could see the uh vision right away she was pretty infatuated with it once we went over and looked at it and saw how good of a job he did on it it's a pretty good deal so awesome yeah man, you see those guys flying around yeah these guys are having fun look at them split off right there and turn david do you mind if i come up and take a look at the kitchen and everything that he built yeah Good deal. So he's got a, uh, you've got a charcoal stove here? Yeah, charcoal and propane. And the propane runs the stove as well and the hot water heater. Good deal, look at all of this. So you've got a refrigerator, yep. two burner stove, plenty of countertop, and all this is painted for out, outdoor use. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that was exterior primer. And uh, I see that he's got his uh, radio, he's got a, a, a marine cover on it. Yeah, this, well, this is the uh, this is a voltage, the hot um, the water pump, and the hot water heater. All right, and he's got his, uh, his radio, and there's an amp in there too. Is there? If, where's your, is your water storage under there? Yep. So there's a there's a water tank, there's an inverter, and there's a little there's a bus bar back there that a lot of everything runs out of, and the water heater's in the back, and then the um, water pump's right down there on the floor. Good deal. Good deal. I bet this thing's got quite the sound system, huh? Yeah, I haven't fired it up yet, but I wasn't sure how they'd like that here in the parking lot. You know, it all, all depends on the music, you know. <laughs> if we have the same music, that'd be cool. So they're out here cooking their breakfast this morning. Huh. Now you got the discharge for the sewer. Instead of coming out the back, he run it off to the side. Yep, yep. So they, he ran the uh, black water out the tanks underneath the toilet, and then there's uh, the hose. There's a storage on either side of the uh, slide in here, and um, that way you can... Do his pump offs a lot easier. Okay. Now, when uh, when he did this to the bathroom, you told me he took out the shower. Yeah, he took the shower out, um, and he actually extended the size of the uh, of the head in the bathroom. And, okay. Um, put a new toilet in it, and but there's no shower. There's a sink and a toilet. There's no shower anymore. But instead, he just got the outdoor shower. Hey, Nuka, 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 right here, baby. I know my name, and this is and this is their dog, Nuka. I always take a quick, a quick pick, a quick, I'm going to say it, take a quick peek in here. 
they've only had it for a day or two. So they've got the, the, the sleeping up there. This is done really nice. You know, this isn't so bad. Air conditioner there. This works. And then they've got the, the bathroom here. All right, David's going to take this turnbuckle loose and show us how this shower works. This is David's fiance here. Hi. What's, what's your name? Chanterelle. Nice to meet you, Miss Chanterelle. So here's the outdoor shower. Well, look at there. New hardware. I like it. And then uh, this this here flips up. And there's a couple of poles that go into either side to hold it up, and a tarp that bungees around it, so you have privacy while you take your outdoor shower. I think there's even a, a little bamboo floor mat too to keep the sand off. So. That's, a, that's a great idea. So and he welded with like extra storage and stuff underneath this right here. Yep, so this is, yeah, yeah. Uh, so this is all storage. There's, there's eyes on it for padlocks if you like. And so we've got all the jacks and uh, sway yep. bars and hitches and stuff in here. Why waste the room, right? Yeah, right. That's what, this is what he was figuring out. And you said that he used like a to tow his ATVs and yeah, dirt bikes so, and stuff. Yeah, it was pretty much a toy toy hauler for him. So he had a he had a, his quads. I think he even pulled a dirt bike into the kitchen there when he was hauling it. <laughs> and they'd head down to the dunes for you know four or five days at a time. And, cool. And hang out was kind of his thing. So move the air conditioner to the side. Yep. I'm impressed. I like it. This metal right here is the same metal I used at RV base camp on my buildings and stuff there holds a good shine. Here's his battery boxes, his hot water heater. It works. Cool, thank you. Well, this was a lot of fun. I, I just can't thank David enough for showing it to us. And this is a great idea. But, uh, okay, I'm gonna end a little video right here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. We'll see you again soon. You guys take care. Bye-bye. Luca, don't bite me.